This is Robot Wars Extreme Warriors on the new TNN. Tyrannobot pushed the diabolical bunny attack into the pit and out of the finals in our last battle. Only one more win stands between Tyrannobot and the last spot in the championship. Can anyone stop Tyrannobot? Let's go to the battle board and get our next matchup. All right, Mick, this is to go into today's finals. We're going to see Buzz up against Falcon Mark II. Once again, I'm down at the tunnel. I've got Buzz and the Falcon. Buzz, what is your strategy? Well, I'm just going to make the Falcon soar. So how do you plan on doing that? Well, I have a really strong flipping arm. I'm going to get under him, and I'm just going to send him airborne. What do you think about that? I mean, they always say there's strength in numbers. What are you thinking? I don't even think we need one to beat this thing. I mean, look at it. All it is is a speed bump on the road. By the time we're done with it, it's just going to be a road patch. Do you think your driving skills are superior over his? Our driver, he's got so many hours logged on this, he could be an airplane pilot. Really? When he says we're going to soar, yeah, we're going to soar. Of course we're going to fly over this thing. Buzz, it's a buzz. My God, we are the windshield. It is the insect. We're going to smash it. Well, those are fighting words. We're looking forward to this battle. Let's get to it. Hi, my name is Robert Moline. To my right is David Temple. To the left is Archie Temple. Together we are Team Falcon. We have this metal monstrosity here. It's got three 24-volt motors running inside of it. Two of them for the drive, one for the linear actuated lifting arm. We have three spikes in the back. Somebody comes up behind us, they're gonna get a nice poke in their face. Hi, my name is Joe Moroski from Portland, Oregon, and this is my robot Buzz. In the very front here, I have a steel nose guard that covers 3 8 inch 6061 aluminum, making this a very tough bot to beat. In the front here, I have a lifting arm that lifts sideways like this instead of the traditional front. And in the back, I have a rotating drum with pelletizer blades on it that'll rip the tires off of any other bot here at Robot Wars. Roboteer, stand by. There's the Falcon team with Robert Moline, David Temple, and Archie Temple. And all by himself for Buzz Joseph Moroski. And guarding those CPZs, Sir Killalot at 616 pounds. And join with Big Sir Killalot is Sergeant Bash. Let's see if they can stay in the corners this time. Three, two, one, activate. Raph Bot shows the green light. Here we go. Falcon and Buzz right up against each other. Look at the spikes on the back of Falcon. We haven't seen those in use today. But that arena disc has got him stuck. There's little blades coming up from that disc of doom sitting in the middle of the arena that any low-profile bot would definitely do better to stay off of. As Falcon is pushing Buzz across the arena, there's a good look at that spinning drum for a weapon on Buzz as the lifting arm from Falcon is bringing Buzz right up and almost over. Now, he doesn't have a Shree mech or a self right mechanism on Buzz, so he better stay back with his wheels on the ground if he knows what's good for him, as Falcon is just giving him a ride around and hands him to Killalot. And Killalot is going to try to make quick use of having Buzz in his corner, and he does. He sticks him right in the corner, and Killalot is going to make him pay. Oh, and Falcon hits the trigger for the pit. Great bit of driving, and we knew Falcon was trying to win it from the beginning. And meanwhile, Buzz is just running across the arena on everybody else's power. Killalot is coming out of his corner. He thinks Buzz is incapacitated. And I think he might be, especially now with Killalot's help. Well, Killalot didn't wait for RefBot to count out at all. He's quite sure Buzz is out of it as he goes for the slam dunk. Cease. Well, it looked like Buzz was rendered immobile, and then it was all up to Sir Killalot feeding him into the hungry pit. And it will be the Falcon rolling on to the finals where he will take on Tyrannobot. Okay, Buzz, uh, good contest there, but it seemed like your opponents were more than willing to kind of just 
feed you to Sir Kill a lot, and uh, and then it was uh, just a matter of time before he went into the pit. Yeah, I just didn't get a chance out there. Didn't didn't not necessarily your best showing. No, it wasn't. All right, but give some credit to these guys. You did a nice job, but I got to ask you about something. Right at the end there, it appeared to me that when Sir Killalot put Buzz into the pit, it appeared to me like the Falcon was trying to kind of nudge Sir Killalot. And I'm wondering, do you really need to be making enemies like that going into the finals? Oh, no. We were just being a little aggressive, you know, feeling the adrenaline rush. We want to get to our opponent, and Sir Killalot just got in the way a little bit. Right, we'll see. Thanks a lot, guys. You did a great job, and looking forward to a good final as you take on Tyrannobot. Let's make some noise for all these guys. Yeah. Shake hands. So, oh, Buzz and Bunny attack are historical. Which means that Tyrannobot and Falcon Mark II go through to today's finals. Whoa, Falcon Mark II soars into the finals, that's me soaring, and into a showdown with Tyrannobot, who will rise from the ashes to claim the last spot in the Robot Wars Extreme Warriors Championship. The final matchup is coming up. Stick around.